So I am once again going to be taking a very aggressive approach with the Saperi 46 while also targeting a little bit more recoil on this one. So super fast pace still, super good movement, super aggressive, but we are going to be slowing it down just a smidge to target some of that recoil. During my last build, somebody said, listen, you did a great job with the mobility and the recoil was pretty good, but I think you should target a little more of that to make it easier for me to hit my shots, especially towards the longer range fights. Well, I am definitely fulfilling that want. I think you guys should stick to very close range engagement with this weapon because that's where you're going to find the most success. For the first attachment here, you do need the Rescue 9 stock. That's a very important attachment when it comes to mobility and overall movement around the map. You're gaining recoil control, sprint speed, movement speed, tactical sprint speed. And I'm going to be upfront and honest, the biggest attachment or biggest perk of this attachment is going to be the overall movement and tag sprint speed. We are gaining recoil control at 8%, but being able to cruise around the map is a very big important thing with this particular weapon, and that's why the movement is so well important. Our next attachment here is going to be another attachment to boost the aggression with the Phantom Grip. That's going to give you a large increase to sprint to fire speed along with aim down sight speed. 8% there to the ADS, absolutely great there, but massive 19% to the sprint to fire speed, giving you one of the best in the entire game, which is another reason this weapon is so good while playing aggressive. My next one is a preference attachment. You guys can definitely go with the normal 30 round mag if you want to. I am running the 40 because of how fast I play with this thing. I do find there are certain situations I do run out of bullets and I'm kind of stuck in the reload animation. I just kind of like to have that extra ammo, ammo capacity. Feel free to run whatever you want here. For my muzzle, I am going with the Pure Fire Muzzle Break S, so this is going to target recoil control along with fire aiming stability while not sacrificing any aim down sight speed. That's a very important thing because our next attachment does like to slow down the weapon just a tiny bit, but this is quite important. 18% to that horizontal recoil control along with the much needed fire aiming stability. This weapon likes to bounce side to side and has a lot of visual shake more than it does have visual, or I'm sorry, vertical recoil controls. This is a very important attachment. And our final one here is the Lux 30 Heavy Barrel. That's gonna give you recoil control. Like I just said, this attachment is going to slow it down a bit, but nothing crazy. We are sacrificing 8% to the ADS, which we made up for with the rear grip, along with 7% to the sprint to fire. Again, we made up for that with the rear grip. So we're getting an extra 12% to horizontally and vertical recoil control with this attachment. We have a very interesting topic in the gameplay that I think you guys should listen to and go down to the comment section and let me know what you guys think. I don't want to spoil it because that would kind of ruin the whole point of the video. Uh, definitely should listen to what I have to say and kind of give me some feedback or some ideas on what you guys think they should do to this weapon. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen if you guys wanted to pause and also copy this down. We're going to jump into a gameplay to feature, well, the best SMG in the game. Let's not, let's, let's just leave it at that. Still the best weapon, still the meta SMG here in Modern Warfare 3. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. You know, in theory, I don't know if there's really a way to nerf the Superi to the point that it becomes unusable without torching the damage. But at that point, I, I think that defeats the purpose because it's not the damage of this weapon that makes it so good. It more lies on like movement. You know what I mean? The movement of this weapon is really what propels it over a lot of the other SMGs. It's not like it's like the striker. It's not like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's not a high damage. It's not a high damage SMG like you would stereotypically think. Out of like an overpowered weapon. You know what I mean? A lot of overpowered weapons, for example, my biggest example would be the Tech 9 from, from Cold War. The Tech 9 was literally broken more due to the damage profile of it than anything else where this weapon it's just it, it's literally just the movement like the movement is more superior than other weapons in the game and it, it's simple attachments you know what i mean but i think that's what makes it unique see how fast i fly around the map with tack sprint and sliding and that's really what I'm trying to get to get to the point of. But like I was saying, I don't truthfully think there's a way to properly nerf this thing without ruining it.
Homie's name is Turkey Taco. Oh my god, that's, that's a different one. So the pace of this game is fast, but also slow at the same time. Like, when I get pushed, it's multiple people. See what I mean? That was the best example I could give you. When I get pushed, it's by multiple freaking people. Already locked in another UAV. Yeah, we're not gonna stay hold on we're gonna chow this guy there we go another one there what am i on 20. this guy thinks i'm gonna push from that way and he's gonna be wrong we're gonna hit this route couldn't have worked better could not have worked better we'll just give him the dna bomb now Holy crap, I'm turned. This is one of those games where it's hard to talk because I'm playing so well. I'm just kind of in it, you know what I mean? Oh, I still ended up dying. Where was he? All right. Okay. Well, that answers my question. I didn't actually see that guy. I saw him on the advanced UAV, but I thought he was farther back. We got plenty of time here to keep going, too. We're at 55 kills. I'm going to target. I think uh, 80 is a, a reasonable kill count here. Depends a lot on how long we stay on the objective here. I mean, I'm definitely hitting. Jeez, I'm crow, man. Like the advanced UAV flow is just keeping me in it. Ah, uh, tell me you guys could see him because I really couldn't. I again saw him on the advanced UAV, but his dot it, 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 or the nameplate definitely wasn't there. Good kill. All right, we're here. We got a guy over there, but I'm gonna look this way. I don't have an advance, so I might have flipped these spawns in unintentionally. Kobe. Just not what do we got around this corner? I don't know who this guy is. 
Oh, he's right there. I'm literally right there. That was a terrible Semtex. Jeez, and let's not talk about it. I don't know if I'm going to get more than 81 here. I'm chasing kills, but they're just not coming to me. You know what I mean? Like... I'm chasing him down. Listen here, Ronnie, shoot him! Oh, there's... Uh, oh, teammate got a chopper gunner. Eighty-nine? Okay. I think that's it. That's it. Ninety-one kills. Man, the superior is still really freaking good.